Hey everyone, Kyo here. Today I'm reviewing the Huion Inspiroid Dial 2 model number Q630M. This is a wireless Bluetooth graphics pen tablet and this is an upgrade over the previous model, the Q620M, which only has one dial. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company. However, all the opinions in this video are mine. I'll just present to you my findings and you can decide whether or not this is worth the money and the official retail price for this is 159 US dollars. So this review is going to be quite long. If you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written on my blog. The link is in the video description below. This is a pen tablet that does not have a display, so you have to pair it with a computer. Look at the display while you draw here. Let's take a look at the items in the box, which I have already unboxed. This is a 1.6 meter long USB-A to USB-C charging cable. The tablet's battery life is about 18 hours. This is the pen stand where the pen can be placed horizontally or vertically. There is rubber here with good grip on the table and you can open this to find 10 replacement nibs and one nib remover. The black ones are hard plastic nibs, the light grey ones are felt nibs. This is the Huion PW517 pen which uses Pentec 3. It supports slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity and supports tilt sensitivity as well. This pen is very comfortable to hold with this big rubber grip which you can see can attract dust very easily. The two side buttons are customizable. The pen tip has very minimal movement to it. This pen is not powered by battery so no charging is required. Overall build quality is good. There is no eraser at the back. Even with the black plastic nib, the tactile drawing experience is really good. This is how the pen sounds on the drawing surface. And this is how it sounds with the felt nib. So this is the Huion Inspiroid Dial 2 Q630M and this is a good looking pen tablet. The drawing surface area is 10 by 6 inches and this is a comfortable size to work with. This size pairs very well with monitors I would say up to 27 inches. If you need a pen tablet that is even bigger, Huion actually has the Huion Inspiroid Giano which is significantly larger compared to this. This pen tablet has two dials on the side and six physical shortcut buttons. The dials can be turned from the side or from the top and when you're turning the dial there is this very audible clicking sound. The clicking sound is quite satisfying. All the controls here have very good feedback. You can customize up to three shortcuts for each dial, so you get a total of six for the two dials. And to switch between the shortcuts, you just have to press the black button in the middle. These six shortcut buttons are also customizable. On the side here, there are the power and Bluetooth pairing button. This is the USB-C charging port. This tablet can still be used while it's charging. Battery charging time is about two and a half to four and a half hours according to the company and the battery life for this tablet is rated at 18 hours. So if you draw six hours non-stop daily, the battery life can last for three days. This is quite a thin tablet. It's just eight millimeter, not counting the height of the dial. And on the back, we have a very clean design as well. This part here is plastic with this parallel line design. This feels like metal. This whole surface is matte textured. There are four rubber feet with very good grip on the table. The front part here, including the dial, is not metal. This is plastic. The finishing for this tablet is very well done. Let's see what you can do with the driver. This is the Mac OS driver. The Windows driver will have very similar functionality. The Windows driver has this additional Windows Ink feature which you may have to toggle on or off for troubleshooting if pressure is not working as expected. So this is where you can customize the controls, the two dials and the six physical shortcut buttons. You can customize up to three shortcuts 
for the dial and switch between the shortcuts by pressing the button in the middle of the dial. So I have this set to zoom in and out. I have customized the six button. Um, you can customize it with keyboard shortcuts, mouse clicks. There is also switch display. You can use the buttons to run programs or applications or for multimedia controls. There is precision mode, pen and scroll, quick menu it is very useful. Let me switch this back to the shortcut I was using, which is the space bar so that I can move around the canvas. So let me show you a quick manual. This is very useful. So when you press the shortcut button, it will call up this quick menu with additional shortcuts that you can customize. So I have already entered all the keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can customize up to six. I'll show you how useful this is later on while drawing. Let's take a look at the working area. So you can leave this as default. If you are a left-handed user, you can change the orientation to 180 degrees here. And at the corner, you can see the battery life of the tablet. Let me show you how useful Quick Menu is. So all the shortcuts that I'm using right now are from the Huion tablet. And I'm going to call up Quick Menu and select one to do a selection on the face and the neck. This is the selection I have right now. So I'm going to fill the face with this color. I call up quick menu and I'm going to fill because I have this shortcut here. So I fill it. Quick menu, deselect. Let me zoom in with the dial and move around with the hand. Let me zoom in again really close to let you see that this Fill tool is not perfect or the magic wand is not perfect because you can see some white gaps here. So let me undo using the tablet shortcut again. And now I'm going to call up quick menu again and select this. This will expand the selection. So let me expand by two pixels. Quick menu, fill the pixels and let me multiply the layer deselect now you can see there are no white gaps here all the shortcuts i've added to the quick menu are magic wand and fill color shortcuts to allow me to select areas and fill colors quickly i find quick menu to be very useful unfortunately you can only create one quick menu so if you set all the buttons here to quick menu it's the same menu that shows up. And now let's take a look at the line quality, starting with initial activation force. The initial activation force with this pen is very low. As long as the pen tip is touching the drawing surface, even if you don't apply any pressure, you can get a line. This is how thick that brush really is. Let's have a look at the line transition from thin to thick. So this is very good because it can go very thick and become very thin again. For pens that are not that sensitive, it would be very difficult to get those thin lines at the end again. This is how the strokes taper. They taper very sharply, very smoothly. This is me maintaining consistent pressure to draw lines with consistent width and I can do so very easily. Let's draw some dots by tapping the pen on the tablet and I can do so, I can draw the dots very easily. Tilt sensitivity also works fine. This is the cursor following the direction of the pen. So now it's horizontal, vertical, horizontal, 45 degrees. Let's draw a thin stroke, a thick broad stroke. This is Adobe Illustrator on Mac OS where pressure sensitivity usually does not work, but this time it worked. The drawing performance is predictable and consistent. And this is the line quality you can expect with the various drawing apps, at least the ones that I have tested. Midibank Paint Pro, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Clip Studio, Krita. The drawing performance is really good. 
the lines are able to taper very beautifully and because the pen is so sensitive you can choose a really thick brush such as this one that I'm using here and just use this single brush throughout your drawing you don't have to manually change the brush size with the settings so this is actually quite convenient I did not experience any glitches while drawing so my overall drawing experience is very positive so this pen tablet works really well and this is Adobe Photoshop which works fine I don't have any issues with Photoshop as well I can get very good line quality here with the Photoshop brushes this one's run with Affinity Photo, which is an app that is great for drawing as well. Let me zoom in close. So I was able to draw whatever lines I want. The lines always come out exactly the way I expect them to. So with this line, you can see some variance with the thickness. And here you can see it's thin, becomes thick and tapers to become very thin and this taper is very smooth and this as well this stroke thin thick thin it's very smooth i actually don't have any negative thing to say about this tablet because i did not experience any glitches or problems while drawing all right to conclude this is a beautiful tablet with a premium feel the shortcut buttons are very useful, the pen is sensitive and accurate, the drawing performance is fantastic and my drawing experience is very positive. It's very satisfying to draw on this tablet. And this is definitely suitable for professional artists. It is pricey, yes, but in this case you do get what you pay for. So if you have intention to get this tablet, consider using the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Wow, this is really dusty.